Okay, let's do um, let's do this uh, problem here. Are we ready to do it? Yeah. Okay. Um, NL, I mean CL two NF. How do you put this together? Okay. So the first thing you want to do is draw the Lewis structures of the various atoms, okay? Or um, put the atoms, you know, with their valence electrons around them. So what does um, chlorine look like with its valence electrons around it? Draw chlorine, for example. Or I guess another good question would be, how many bonds can chlorine make? You should know that. Mm -mm, that's how many valence electrons it's got. That's what chlorine looks like, right? How many more electrons does it need? One. one. So how many bonds can it make? Just one, okay? You're making this way too hard on yourself, okay? You're making it way too hard. Okay, so let's draw the other chlorine. Looks like that, right? How many bonds can it make? One, okay? What about fluorine? Let's draw that. How many bonds can it make? One as well. Now let's draw nitrogen, okay? How many bonds can it make? How many valence electrons does it have? Five. So how do we do it? We go one, two, three, four, five. How many bonds can nitrogen make? Three. Okay, so which one's going to be in the middle? It has to be, right? Why? Because the other ones only make one bond, right? Can something that makes one bond be in the middle? No. It's really the one that makes more bonds. Just, just like what I said. It's the one that makes the most bonds, you know. So let's draw it now. Right? So let's just take this fluorine and put it over here. Like that, right? Like that, right? Okay, so now let's draw what that looks like. So that's the Lewis structure of it. If you wanted to know the, what the structural formula was, you have to remember Vesper theory. Right? You got these four electron groups, so it's effectively they want to be as far apart from each other as possible. That bond angle there, 107.3, because you've got this lone pair being very big around there, so it makes that 109.5 smaller than what it should be. Uh huh. Ready? Any questions on that? Before we. Why do you think that fluorine has way less bonds? What do you mean? 
What do you mean? So, so this is this is? looks like this. That's what that looks like. All of these things are trying to be as far apart from each other as possible. Yeah, they're all trying to be because they all have a lot of electron density around them. So they're trying to be away from each other. Would it be the same thing if chlorine would have been on the bottom and chlorine would have been on the top? Or would it, it doesn't matter. It's just, look, you're just putting, you're wanting it to be different. That if I turn it this way, it's, if I made it this, it's a different thing than if I made it, it's not. Remember I was telling you, like I, Okay, if I sit like this, right, I'm still Heath, right? Or if I'm like this, you know, I'm Heath, right? Or if I'm like this, I'm still Heath, right? You know? Just no matter what. Yeah, I'm just turning around, you know? So it's just like this. Like I can, I can draw it like this, you know? Let's draw, let's draw it like this and see what it looks like, okay? Let's draw it like this. Let's draw it like that, okay? So what we would do, so when we're drawing it like this, all three of them are coming out towards us, right? It would look something like this. It's a little harder to draw, right? And the lone pair is behind the nitrogen now. So you can't see it, you know, because it's like this. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay, do you see? Why? Because that's what you do when you want to show something that is forward. That's how you show something's forward, is these triangles. They're called wedges. And dashes mean it's going behind, right? So the difference is this looks like this one here. Looks like that. See, the fluorine's going behind, right? And this chlorine's in the plane, and this chlorine's going in front. That's why it's in the, there. Wait, this one looking like that, with all three of them going forward. You know that the dashes mean go back. Okay. No, that's that's what emotion. And then the the square one and the minus sign. That's what emotion. We'll talk about that in different. Is everybody okay with this one though? Yes. You okay with this one? 